Okay, I'm Steve. I uh, post under Fight M Gear on uh, YouTube. Also have a web page www.fightngear.com. It's F I G H T N G E A R.com. We've got a couple of uh, quick gun reviews I want to do today and uh, just a little bit of shooting at the range. The uh, range is pretty fast, pretty basic. It just calls out the gun that's being shot and then you uh, see the target or the plates dropping, but it gives you some idea. Mostly I want to talk today about the uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 and the uh, Taurus 709 Slim. I'll try to do something a little more in depth on both of those later, but I just wanted to point out a couple of things on them. Uh, the first gun that I want to talk about, and uh, let me adjust my camera just a little bit here. Hopefully you can see it now. Is the uh, Smith and Wesson bodyguard? It is clear, um, no round in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. This is the uh, bodyguard 380. It is a, a tremendous gun, except it has one huge Achilles heel. I want to talk about. I bought this gun on the 20th shot. The laser failed. When I contacted Smith and Wesson. Um, they were so routine about that that it, it's obvious they, they're just having failure after failure of this laser. Um, the gun itself, however, points great, shoots great, uh, very accurate. I've probably run 500 rounds through it, no failures, uh, no stoppages of any kind. It has tremendous sights on it. Um, I have a Taurus TCP that I love, but I have to say the sights on the uh, bodyguard are a noticeable improvement. They are driftable for windage, but they're not adjustable for elevation. However, they're a very large, I don't know if you can see them or not, um, they're a very large black-on-black -black sight with a real good sight picture. The um, trigger was criticized by a lot of people, and, and it is stiff. However, I will say this, if you're just double-action fire like you would be in a stretch situation, it's really not noticeable. If you're trying to stage it, shoot for groups, uh, this is not a target pistol. It's not what it was designed for. And other than the laser, I think Smith actually got it right. I carry this gun now almost every day. I uh, make a holster, a, a small pocket holster like this that's either all leather, or I also make the same holster in uh, leather with a Kydex front. Uh, those are available at fightingear.com. They're, either one of those is $25. I consider it a bargain. The uh, large leather backing, uh, what printing it does do in your pocket, looks like a wallet or a, a cell phone in your pocket. It doesn't look at all like a, a firearm, but it allows for easy draw. Um, I carry the leather when I think it's more comfortable, plus I think it's a little easier to draw from, but that's personal preference. Uh, when I got the um, bodyguard, I was kind of disappointed to find out that it only ships with one magazine, a little cheap case, and not much else. So Smith is definitely not going out of their way to give you any kind of a bargain on the gun, but hopefully the prices will come down just a little bit after, um, after the gun's on the market a while and gets a little easier to get. The uh, second gun I want to talk about real fast, also clear, magazine empty, and the, uh, the gun is is empty also. Uh, Taurus 709 Slim. This is a 9mm single stack. It's, it's a tremendous gun. I think it's probably the most underrated affordable carry gun on the market today. It does actually have a safety. I, I never use it. I just leave it in a, in a double action ready to fire mode. But if you're a person that thinks that a carry gun should have a safety, this has it. It has a phenomenal trigger on it. It has sights that are, that are um, Probably not quite as good as, as the Smith & Wesson sights in that they're a, they're a three dot, I don't know if you can actually see them, probably not, but they're a three dot sight, but they are windage and elevation adjustable on this gun. It ships with two magazines, a, a, a hard plastic case, the manuals and stuff, but no, no type of uh, nylon carry case or anything, which I find to be a waste anyway. I carry this gun also in a holster that I make. It's, um, I call it the Insider. I, I know there's some other companies use that name too, but I call it the Insider. I, I've been calling it that for a couple of years. I didn't realize anybody else did, so one of these days maybe I'll get sued. I don't know. 
Um, it's a horsehide back. I make it in leather back also. It's Kydex, uh, steel clips. I can put extra holes in them if you want adjustability, but I find that if you set it so that the top of the holster is right at the belt line and a slight forward cant, everybody that I've talked to has found it to be very comfortable. Fightingear.com also has the pricing on this. I sell this holster for 40 bucks. I mean, it's just, it's impossible to beat. And it, it's a well-made, solidly riveted. I've never had a rivet come out. The uh, Kydex is first grade Kydex. The fit is tremendous. The holster actually will retain the gun, which a lot of the um, a lot of the Kydex holsters won't. However, it's still you can hear it click in and out, but it, it's still very easy to draw from. It has a tremendous combat cut. I actually worked on this shape a long time before I got a shape that I was happy with. The shape allows it to fold and contour around the body without bunching up, but yet at the same time provides easy access for the draw and uh, for the reholster. Um, I'd appreciate if you'd give me just a, like I say, just give me the chance. Take a look at my website. There's some testimonials. I think this is a bargain. Back to the gun itself. Um, I've got a couple of real quick clips running some plates. Now, it's only at 10 yards, but, I mean, this is a carry gun. It's not, it's not designed for 50-yard shooting. This gun has had thousands of rounds run through it, and it's, it's always been dependable. I don't know that I've ever had a stoppage with it. And I shoot a lot of Winchester white box, which is really some pretty cheap ammo. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a car, Kimber, something like that, and you want a good, dependable gun, you could actually bet your life on in an emergency. Take a look at the 709 Slim. I, I don't make a penny off of this. I mean, Taurus isn't paying me. I, you know, I, I don't have enough views to, to uh, make any kind of money. I'm just telling you, this is, this is a great gun at a great price. I'm going to shut this down um, and show just a few quick clips of us shooting. Uh, my buddy's shooting a couple of cars. Um, He's shooting a Glock 10 millimeter. I'm shooting these guns and also a Smith & Wesson m and I'll try to have some more detailed actual gun reviews later, but mostly I just wanted to show everybody who I am and tell you the people that have bought from me, I really appreciate your business. The people that are thinking about it, you know, I'd really like it if you'd check out my website and then give me a try. I'm going to shut this down and then I'm just going to go straight in. It's just going to be range shooting. Not a, lot of, not a lot going on there. It's very quick. Um, actually, all you're going to see is the targets and the plates. Thanks a lot. What we're going to do here is kind of go through, show you all the guns, give you a quick description on what they are, and then we're, we're going to move down range and shoot a little bit at the targets. Most of the shooting will probably be at uh, 7 to 10 yards. What have you got over there? You've got a uh, car P380, is that right? P380, PM9, and a Glock 10. Okay, and, and the Glock model number is what, a 29? Uh-huh. Okay, then I see you got a uh, Smith Airweight and a, uh, what is that, a Ruger 22? That's correct. Let me move around here a little bit. Got a few more guns sitting here. Um, have a uh, Ruger 22 with a long bull barrel. Got the uh, new Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, which I was going to do a review on, but it broke so damn fast. I didn't have a chance to do the review. I kind of go through that with you. Also have a Smith & Wesson M&P in 357 SIG with an additional barrel that's a 40 barrel. I'll probably mostly shoot the 40 today just because it's a lot cheaper to shoot. And then I also have a, a Taurus 709 Slim. I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute, get it rigged up down by the targets. This Smith & Wesson J-Frame, uh, it's the Airlight Titanium, so it's kind of a handful. Fairly, uh, fairly decent load Winchester white box headshots. As you can see from that, that would definitely get the job done. I've heard a lot of criticism and complained about the uh, 38 Special and the J-Frame and five shots and no stopping power. But uh, I'm sitting there looking at five shots in two and a half inches right in the center of a guy's head, eye level. There's no way that's not going to work. All right, this is my buddy shooting my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 40. Uh, he's at about seven yards, again, going for the head shots.
again, as you can see, more than more than capable. This is going to be my uh, Taurus 709 Slim. It's a gun I carry quite a bit, so hopefully I'll do all right with it. I've actually shot this one quite a bit. Most of the other guns we've not shot much, but anyway, we'll see what we can do. I'll be doing headshots at seven yards. We'll see how it stacks up in uh, three important areas. my buddy same gun tore 709 slim seven yards darn except for the flyer they were one flyer but as you can see the rest of those are all uh probably about an inch group uh the 709 slim is an incredible gun it kind of gets overlooked because it's kind of considered a budget firearm, but um, I've put a lot of rounds through that gun. It's been 100% reliable and it's amazingly accurate. It has a tremendous trigger. And if you can't afford to spend five or 600 on a gun, it's one I highly recommend. Car PM9, eight inch plates, 10 yards. Good shooting. Car PM9. As you can see, he is the master of that gun. Smith and Wesson MP40, 10 yards, 8 inch plates. Dead center. Yep. Well, that may be enough with the M&P for the day then. Car P380, 8 inch plates, 10 yards. Good shooting. Smith & Wesson 380 bodyguard, 8 inch plates, 10 yards. Or 709 slim, 8 inch plates, 10 yards. <laughs> 